Are you ready yet? They're, they're gonna be here in a minute. Blimey! You didn't get that out of a catalogue? No, I didn't. I just knocked it up with a blowtorch and a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, I miss a couple of bars, will they? You, you can't do that. Well, I'm sorry I've done it. Anyway, I want to wear it for my new advert. What are you advertising? Shampoo. I'm on again. <laughs> Two men into the shower. <laughs> Not me. With my new shampoo, I just wet it and forget it. <laughs> yes, with rinse and mince. <laughs> I'm in and out in no time. Them. No, 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 we've got to find that key. But, but all I know is it's somewhere about his person. All right? Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mr. Wilson. Oh, you're in your wife. Uh, may I introduce you to my flatmate, Julian? Charmed, I'm sure. Hello, how are you? How are you, Mrs. Wilson? How do you do? Uh, shall I take your keys? Coats. Coats. <laughs> take the governor's coat with you, Julie. Thank Certainly. No. <laughs> What a frisky coat. <laughs> Julian just thought your suit was on fire, didn't what? you, Julian? I did, yes. Try sell. Highly inflammable. Ooh. <laughs> no, not a sausage. I have to think of something else, yes. <laughs> I'll get it. Get what? Money spider. Where what? is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, I saw a dirty great thing. Tattoo on every leg. <laughs> it's gone now, I think. Which one did you say works at the bank? Well, now what do we do? Anybody fancy a dance? We've got Sing Along a Fergie. <laughs> Just her. She might have the key. Do I have to? Think of the money. I'll get my mittens. <laughs> oh, you have a wonderful sense of rhythm, Julian. <laughs> oh, I've never had any complaints. <laughs> Are you sure this is quite proper? Oh, yes, sir. Latest Japanese business technique. They're all at it in Tokyo. Discover anything. She's had her appendix removed. <laughs> Is it every Toyota board meeting? Oh, yes, sir. Then it's half a bottle of sake and down a karaoke for two choruses of my way. <laughs> I've had quite enough. Oh, trust him to finish before me. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever find that key. Yes, we will. Oh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. I couldn't help noticing while we were dancing the unusual colour of your hair. My hair? Yeah. How would you describe it, Julian? Sparse. An <laughs> autumnal glow. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh. Let's have a look at it under this light. No. No. We're not getting the full beauty of it. Mm. Just step behind this x-ray machine, would you? <laughs> I see what you mean now, but how are we going to get it? I don't know. How to get a man to take his trousers off? Oh, well, I usually just smile at him. <laughs> My wife and I did not come round here to be x-rayed and dance the conga. No, certainly not. No, of course you didn't. Let's have some refreshment, everyone. Thank you very much. How about some nice white wine for you, Mrs. Wilson? Thank you. And a snifter for you, Mr. Wilson. Well, I shouldn't really. I'm a chronic alcoholic. Thank you. <laughs> His liver is the size of a football. It's a, it's a saucy little Sancerre. A pleasing bouquet, but a surprisingly lively. Oh, uh... ah! <laughs> no! Oh, you clumsy oaf! Look what you've done to my trousers! I'm terribly sorry. Why don't you nip into the bedroom and slip them off? <laughs> Times I've said that. I'll come with you. Uh, give you a hand. <laughs> Times I've said that as well. So <laughs> much. I'm sorry about all this, Mrs. Wilson. Really, I am. I know what you're up to. You know. You do? Yes. You threw that wine over my husband deliberately. I did? Yes. And I know why. Your motives are obvious. Oh, well, you see, I'm a desperate man, Mrs. Wilson. Yes, I know. I can see that. Love can do that to you. You see, Terry said that if we... <laughs> Love. Don't play games with me, Julian. <laughs> you wanted my husband out of the way so that we could be alone. <laughs> when we were dancing, your hands were everywhere. Uh, well, I used to be a pastry chef. <laughs> I know that you want me, and I feel the same. Well, you have you, then. <laughs> Let us make mad, passionate love. Can't we make cushions instead? 
I'll soon have your trousers sorted out. I've got the key, but I'm going to need a taxi to get that lot to the bank. I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to tie your husband's trousers to the handlebars of my bike and ride around the block till they're dry. Take your time. Terry, come back. Don't leave me here. Can I come out now? No. Stay where you are. No. And you stay where you are. I shall be back in a moment. We don't want him getting in the way, do we? <laughs> Woman's mad. I can't have that kind of thing on my show. <laughs> there might be old age pensioners watching. <laughs> I think I'll uh, just wander into the audience and uh, break a few conventions. That'll, uh, that'll calm me down. Hello. You chewing gum? I'm chewing gum. Well, it's a terrible thing to do. I might say something very funny and you'll, you'll oh. laugh and it'll nip down the wrong hole. <laughs> Michelle Demarge, hello. <laughs> Who are you? Roisin. Can you move up a bit, Roisin? <laughs> Sounds like a man-made fabric, doesn't it? <laughs> Roisin, have you ever had unwanted advances? No. <laughs> Quel surprise. <laughs> you must have done once or twice. Well, mm, maybe. Put yourself, put yourself <laughs> in my position, okay. Roche. Can I call you Roche? Yeah, anything. You've got hair in your mouth. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's your own, sadly, but there is... <laughs> what do you think I should do, Roche? I don't know, go for it. Go for it? Yeah. Give her what she wants? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, <laughs> I just don't know that I can stand up to her, Roche. <laughs> do come with me for just a moment, because um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reenact this and get it out of my system. <laughs> down there and what, what I'm going to do I think is uh, I'll, I'll calm everyone down and sing a little song. Please release me, let me go, for I don't love you anymore. <laughs> Look at me like that. To waste our lives would be a sin. Oh, release me. Let me love again. I, I found a new and dear. And I got to join it. I will always love what you mean. His lips are warm while yours are cold. I like a bit of bristle, you know how it is. <laughs> My darling, let, let me go. go. Release me and let me love a man. Let me love again. I feel slightly better now about life in general. <sighs> He's happy as a sandboy now. He's found some magazines under Terry's bed. <laughs> we won't be disturbed. I'm doing what? Oh, Julian, you're a man. And I'm a woman. <laughs> you're a married woman, Mrs. Wilson. But you're a very attractive man, Julian. Yes, that may be so. But what you don't realise is I'm back for the other side. <laughs> 
Not only that, but I sometimes take the stumps home as well. Yes, I, I get the picture. I'm sorry about that. Can't you just imagine I'm a lorry driver? <laughs> Not unless we turn the lights up, no. No, you're trouble. You, ju you just haven't met the right woman yet. But I've met Sue Lawley on several occasions. <laughs> just relax. Give in to it. Follow your instincts. Well, if I did that, I'd be on the next plane to Amsterdam. <laughs> in the cockpit. Oh, come fly with me. Let's play doctors and nurses. <laughs> but I had a check-up last week. His name was Ivan. <laughs> Call me anything you like. Well, how about Thursday? <laughs> Mad, passionate fool. Call me your financial advisor. <laughs> I can massage your accounts. <laughs> Take your boots off. And I can tantalise your toes. Any side of my trousers. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, George. Julian was having a giddy spell. I was trying to bring him round. Oh, was, yes. Oh, who am I? Where am I? What am I wearing? <laughs> Is he all right? I feel a bit better now you're here, yes. You've had a nasty little turn, haven't you? I did want to spend the night with the crankies, but I don't talk about it. I'm back. Oh. Here's your... Uh, Trousers, Governor. Oh, How did you get it? Which one of you scumbags is Governor of the Bank of England? I am. I am. Do with me what you will. I'll never crack. <laughs> Where's the gold? We've been down to the bank and there's none there. Uh, well, it might be down my trousers. <laughs> no, 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 stop that. Don't you dare manhandle him. Shut your face. They know what they're doing. <laughs> It's not there. Carry on looking. <laughs> Hang on a minute. The governor of the Bank of England doesn't wear makeup. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> Mildred. He's the governor. Right then, Grandad. Give us the gold or this bloke gets it. You'll never break me. Right then, Bert. Give it to him in a kisser. They never tried that on me. <laughs> I'll ask you one more time, Grandad. Where's the gold? I'm tougher than I look, you know. <laughs> Call that a punch, I can take much more than that. <laughs> uh, didn't touch me. <laughs> you can keep it up all night as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned as well. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Do you think I carry the gold around with me? I mean, do you think this wheelbarrow is full of gold bars? Oh, it is. <laughs> I think we've struck it lucky. Blimey! This will make us millionaires! Let me be the first to congratulate you. I think this calls for a celebratory drink, don't you? May I recommend Fanshawe's Champagne Wazette, a refreshing drink for the Pennywise punter. What are you doing? It's all right, everything's under control. I've got some knockout drops here that I keep for emergencies. These will put them into a catatonic state for two hours. Are you sure they'll work? Well, Mike Smith's on ten a day. Oh. <laughs> here we are. Bottoms up, down Shit. the hatch. Ah, not a bad drop of... See? They've all gone rigid and their mouths are open. <laughs> Congratulations! Today you have performed a great service to your country. But there's just one thing I don't understand. How did all this gold happen to be in your flat? Ah, I thought you might be wondering that, and I can explain. Because, you see, I am psychic. I am. If I hadn't been a celebrity, I could have been the next Doris Stokes. <laughs> but who wants to wear crimply in 24 hours a day? <laughs> And so I knew, psychically, I just knew that the bank was going to be robbed this evening. So I took the rather unusual step of bringing all the gold here. Voila. Ugh. How can we at the Bank of England ever repay you? Well, a Dorothy Perkins gift voucher would be more than generous. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you ever hear from the Bank of England, then? No, not a peep. Turn me on, would you? we we'll just catch the end of the news, then I'm on Dish of the Day. Is that a cookery programme? No. The Bank of England has today released a new five-pound note. The governor of the bank said that although he realised the design would be considered controversial, he thought it was the greatest tribute he could pay to the man who recently saved the nation's treasure. <laughs> just think... There won't be a man in the country that doesn't have me stuffed down his trousers. What's new?